There are a number of reasons why I have to create this video. So many of you are looking to upgrade your Zoom video quality, looking through all the camera options without knowing the device in your hand is the most powerful. And I want to show you how you can use Camel from the company called the Reincubate to do exactly that. Now, here's the reason number two. You're able to zoom in and out all of the camera, changing the angles, applying different effects too. That is super powerful. Reason number three, if you're like me on Zoom all the time, sometimes with a green screen, it doesn't always work correctly. The reason is these days we function in these 16 by nine wide screen videos. And some of these green screens are great. Like the one I got from Elgato, I love it, but it's too narrow. So that Camel helps me to do exactly that by zooming in just a bit. Start downloading Camel today, completely free of charge. The link is in the description below. If you're meeting me for the first time, hello, I'm Faye from Faye's World Media. And my mission here is to teach creative entrepreneurs and small business owners how to master their virtual meetings using Zoom, as well as tailored YouTube strategies to grow their channels, sell more of their products and services without the need to go viral because our strategies are created to meet their business needs. Without further ado, let's learn how to turn this masterpiece into the best video camera you do not need to spend another dime on. All right, step one is that you wanna download Camel's desktop version by clicking on download for a Mac OS. Next, you're gonna to try to find Camel on your mobile phone. Let me show you real quick on iOS. Okay, so I'm currently on iOS and this is how you can easily install Camel on your phone. So go to the App Store and go to the search bar and simply search for Camel, C-A-M-O. As you can see, mine is currently installed so I can just open that or I can show you exactly what it looks like, like so. Super easy, the installation only takes seconds and once this is installed, we're ready to move on to the next step. First, we wanna turn on Camel on your computer and it looks just like this. And now you notice it doesn't recognize any app just yet. After you've turned on the desktop version, you want to then open up your mobile version, just like this. If it's looking weird to show portrait only, you want to make sure you unlock your device so that you can turn your camera in any orientation as you see fit. Now let's take a look at all the options we have. First, we want to get familiar with the reincubate setting. First, you can see on my screen, it recognized my device and it tells me how much battery I have left. And the mode is normal, but we can also have portrait, basic portrait, mute background. Right now I'm on selfie. By default, when you first come into the app, you're actually gonna be using the back camera, which is a better camera. So yes, you have the option to basically turn your camera around. I just prefer to be able to, to see myself and see the front of the screen. So I'm gonna choose the selfie 1.0 like that. Now down here for resolutions, you can change from 1080p to 720p. I have it optimized at 1080p. You have all the other orientations. You can even make it into a smaller screen. You can basically leave everything else as is, but to know that you have the ability to mirror your video. So now you're moving the same direction as yourself on video, which is what I also prefer. And down here, you have the ability to zoom in even more. So this is kind of where it gets really fun. You'll notice on the right-hand side of Camel, you have this window right here you can slide open with additional options. I'm not gonna go crazy here, but to know that you're able to basically change the way you look, and it gives you much more sophisticated editing options compared to Zoom itself. In order to pop open Zoom and use Reincubate's Camel, you need to go into the video settings in the lower right-hand corner, and click on the up arrow and select Reincubate Camel. That's gonna be your camera. Now that we're good to go, you'll see that different settings still work. And let's see, I can change the presets. Take a look. So I have saturation buff, I have tropical Hawaii, mono. You can also create new presets here that you like. So now with Reincubate set up, I'm able to zoom in and out of my video. From there, I'm going to go into the camel setting, make sure I have image transformation turned on, and I'm just going to zoom in just a bit. Right now, you can see my screen is filled in and I'm able to, from here, move my camera back and adjust the distance where I can move my chair a little bit, just like this. Right. This way that I look a little bit more natural 
Now from here, I can really enable my green screen. Go into video settings and then click on choose virtual background. Let me show you what it looks like. This is a recent conference that I hosted and moderated. So now everything is filled in. I absolutely love it. Let me also show you what it looks like with a video. Just like that. It's very clear, even though it's a video. I Lastly, I just want to say a few things about car mounts and some of these tools are quite cheap and really easy to mount and then just snap on your phone on top of your computer. So for instance, this is the one I have. It's called apps to car, I guess. And see this, there's like a little suction cup. All I have to do is literally place it like this. Okay. And then just create that suction and I'm able to twist it if needed. Let me show you behind what it looks like. So it just very easily snaps on and then kind of a suction, like a little suction cup to my iMac. And that's it. You can use this certainly easily for um, any computer, PC or Mac that you have. And now what do you do? You have this thing on your computer and you want to be able to snap your phone right on top of it. So let me show you how it goes. Just like that. I want to show you the secret. There's a piece of magnet. Of course, you can put this piece directly on the back of your phone, but it kind of ruins your phone a little bit. It's a pretty strong magnet. You can get it anywhere on Amazon. It's under $10. In fact, you get a whole pack. If you lose one, you just like put on one other one. If you put your phone just like this, and you can also move the angle just like this. See? So typically this works for your car, but I just noticed how easy it is to use it this way. And it just, again, you know, it just lets your hand go. I don't have to like really play with a tripod and, you know, twist anything or secure it in place. It's already done. Now, here's another option that I recently fell in love with. Uh, this is a great option if you're like me who moderates some of these Zoom sessions and I want to be able to look directly into the camera, meaning the camera of my webcam or in this case, my phone. Um, I would like to put my phone on uh, a tool like this. You notice it's see-through and it's called PlexiCam. I've talked about this device several times on my videos and it's amazing. This right here hooks onto your computer. It could be a laptop, could be a desktop or uh, iMac in my case, hooks on top. So quickly demoing what I mean by using PlexiCam. So this hook right here goes onto any computer. You can also adjust the height of the seat very easily. And as I mentioned before, there is a connector right here and that works for both your cell phone or your camera. It's not there right now, but essentially you just place your phone there. And that works great if you need to look right into the camera, the camera of your phone. Uh, you can also actually put your webcam on top if you need to. And another option, of course, is that you can use a tripod. So this is a tripod I use for my regular camera. It is something that you can certainly remodify, you know, using something like this so that you can snap your phone on top as well. If you like this video, be sure to check out our community called the ultimate guide to zoom. You get the guides with dozens of tutorials, quick fixes, our most popular videos on YouTube without watching any of the ads link in description below. The best part, it's only $10 a month and you can cancel it at any time.